Loss comes in many forms, and usually in unexpected ways. It can be devastating, leaving you facing an uphill struggle to go on with life without someone you thought would always be there. But life does go on, and even in the deepest despair, we can find hope. Welcome to Grief Relief with your hosts, Drs. Gloria and Heidi Horsley, brought to you by the Open to Hope Foundation, helping people find hope after loss. And now here's Dr. Gloria and Dr. Heidi. Welcome to the Grief Relief Show. I'm your host, Dr. Gloria Horsley, with my co-host, Dr. Heidi Horsley. Well, Heidi, we have got a wonderful show today on rebuilding your life after loss. Mm -hmm. We've got Alan Peterson coming on the show, and he's going to talk about how he's rebuilt his life. He's also an inspirational speaker, and he has traveled all over the United States in, with angels across the USA giving concerts and messages of motivation and transformation to people that have had a loss. And don't forget his wife, Denise, that takes him yeah. on all these journeys. Mom, I always say Denise is the wind beneath Alan's wings. A person that I had just met recently, Anne Costaldo. Anne is wonderful. She is with the Tony Brown Foundation. And then we're going to interview Chris Munch. He helps people build birdhouses, and many of them don't even own a bird. Alan. Hey, Alan. Well, what fun to have you here. Thank you. Well, it is, it's always my honor to be on Grief Relief and be on the radio shows. I just believe so much in what you are trying, the message you're trying to get out. And today shows a great example of that, rebuilding your life uh, after loss. And uh, you know, people do it in different ways. And I think mm -hmm. today's interesting because you have three different people who did it in different ways. So thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Yeah, well tell us, where were you? Tell us about your daughter, Ashley dying. I believed I'd never write a song again. What am I gonna do and, and where am I gonna go? I, I began to take my music when I thought I'd never write again and began to, just basically write my story, but write all of our story. I really felt mm -hmm. like I was the songwriter who would write the story of loving someone so much, having them die, missing them so much, and then walking back into life. Our love story is not over. Our love story did not end at the funeral, at the wake, at the cemetery. Our love story continues. Mm -hmm. And it's what we do with that continuing love story for our children, our loved ones, uh, that makes all the difference, I believe. And how do people find you and how do they get your records and all that kind well, of thing? Well, if they go to my website, which is angelsacrossthusa.com, I believe they can find uh, everything I've got there. So angelsacrossthusa.com. Find us, contact us, write us. We uh... And you travel around the United States, and he is a great person to see. So you might want to We'll be in a him. city near you. Well, Anne, how hey, exciting Anne. it is to have you come in today. The foundation has kind of transformed and changed over time. Well, you know, it started out simply as a scholarship fund mm -hmm. for a candle lighting event also. Um, and... I've incorporated my boys into it. They've come mm -hmm. more on board with wanting to support Tony's life. Well, we have big plans for the foundation. Good, love it. We want to start to inspire people. One of my mm -hmm. big goals is to open a healing center mm -hmm. up in the Adirondacks where we have property that Tony absolutely loved up there. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to open some kind of healing center that will provide like a bed and breakfast for families mm -hmm. and a retreat to get away and also to provide activities that will help them enrich their lives. Tony Brown Foundation is meant to inspire. What was your first event? Well, my first mm -hmm. event was the candle lighting. Yeah. Um, so we put together that and I noticed people started to give me money, uh -huh. which I did not want. So I started a scholarship foundation uh -huh. and it just continued to grow. My first big event was having Alan out mm -hmm. and I noticed the need of the people. They just, they loved it. They mm -hmm. were inspired by it. And now we're going to have our friend, and you know him too, Chris Munch, come on. Yes. And uh, he's the man who builds the birdhouses. So here we've got the birdhouse, the Little hammer, birdhouse. The, all the stuff. I love it. Absolutely. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. I... Well, the birdhouse project is, um, it's, I'm a builder. I'm a renovator of homes. And um, after I started, uh, I became a high school woodshop teacher. And through that process of becoming a teacher, I started thinking about my life. And I thought, if I can renovate houses, why can't I renovate my life? And and just kind of accidentally stumbled across um, kids learn best by picking up tools, by picking mm -hmm. up objects. They can remember it. It's a, it's a collaboration of the heart, mind, and hands. I connect the eyes. Oh, the, I like that. The, the heart, touch. mind, and hands. Yeah. yeah. And so I just really attach specific questions to each piece. And as you pick up each piece, it's symbolic of rebuilding. Um, it's, it's really interesting. It's a, 
it's just kind of a guide to introspection, to reflection on your own life. The Birdhouse Project honestly really doesn't have anything to do at all with birdhouses. It's, uh -huh. it's kind of funny. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just a metaphor. This, is, this represents you as a person. Okay. Um, you'll see, you can see inside the birdhouse it's written. Yeah. Um, and, and the writing, uh, as a person goes through the project, they write their thoughts, their feelings. Who am I? What am I feeling? How do I react to all my emotions? It's really interesting about the Birdhouse Project is it continues to evolve, like I continue yeah. to evolve. Now, uh, here you are at the Brief Parents Conference with us, and a lady comes up and tells you about her child jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. The next thing I know, she comes up and tells me that Chris Munch <laughs> is going to the Golden Gate Bridge with her, and they are going to go there and build a birdhouse where her son jumped. Well, please visit us at opentohope.com.